It is wonderful to be on this platform. And today we shall be looking at crop pests and their classifications. At the end of this lesson, the learner should be able to define crop pests, classify crop pests, classify and explain insect pests of crop, list and explain the methods of controlling crop pests. Definition of crop pests. A crop pest is any organism capable of causing damage to crops in the field or crop products in the store. Crop pests are basically divided into invertebrates, e.g. insects and eelworm, vertebrates, e.g. birds and mammals. Take note of this. Insect pests are the most important crop pests in agriculture. The meaning of this is just to let us know that insect pests are the major organisms that destroy crops or attack crops compared to other crop pests. Classification of insect pests of crops. Insect pests of crops can basically be classified into so, number one, the classification based on their mouth parts or their modes of feeding. Number two, based on their location, that is where they are found. Now, classification of insect pests based on their mouth parts. In this classification, insect pests are subdivided into three groups, which are biting and chewing insects piercing and sucking insects, boring and chewing insects. Let's start with the biting and chewing insect pests of crops. The mouth parts of insect pests in this category are modified for biting and chewing plant parts. The mouth parts consist of mandible, maxillae, and labrum. just as we've seen in the picture here. They usually eat and damage the vegetative parts, fruits and seeds of plants. They reduce the photosynthetic ability of crop plants. They also cause reduction in crop growth and yield. Example of such crops, we have the grasshoppers, crickets, termites, locusts, armyworms, beetles, caterpillars. Then the next one is petting and sucking insect pests of crops. The mouth parts of piercing and sucking insect pests are modified into stylus and proboscis. They pierce plant parts and suck sap and juice. The host created during feeding also serve as entry points for disease organisms. They transmit viral diseases through their piercing and sucking activities. Examples are aphids, millibugs, scale insects, moth, cotton stainers, white flies, thrifts, calf seeds, and many more. Then the boring and chewing insects. Their mouth parts are modified into rostrum. They bore holes into seeds, causing physical damage. This is how the mouth parts are. They reduce the viability of infected seeds. Larvae and adults of some moths and beetle feed on store products, grain and seeds, and turn them to powdery form. Examples are weevils, stem borer, bean or copy beetles, yam beetle, cotton bollworm, and many more. Now, we shall be looking at classification of insect crop pests based on location. 
This is further subdivided into field insect pests and storage insect pests. Let's look at the field insect pests. These are insects that attack crops on the field. Examples are grasshoppers, caterpillars, crickets, locusts, cotton stainers, and many more. Then the next one is a storage insect pest. They attack crop products in the store. They eat seed content and reduce it to powder. Weevils are field and store pests. They can be carried along with the crop products from the field to the store, thereby causing damage on the field and in the store. Weevil is a special insect pest of crop. They start attacking crops, most especially cowpea, that is beans, from the field to the store. Examples are weevils, bean beetles, moths, and many more. Now, other crop pests, that is non-insect pests, other crop pests that have economic importance in agriculture, especially in crop production, are mammals, birds, and snails. Let's look at those mammals that are considered as crop pests. They attack crop plants mainly on the field, although a few of them also cause serious damage to store produce. Example, rats. They contaminate grains with feces and urine. They transmit diseases. Examples are squirrels, grass cutters, rats, monkeys, mice, wild rabbits, and many more. Birds are birds that are is, that are crop pests cause damage to crops such as rice, maize, sorghum, millets, banana, oil palm, papa, plantain, citrus, and many more. Birds are important pests of cereals and fruits. Examples are weevil birds, bushfowls, doves, parrots, fruit bats, and many more. Snail. They feed on leaves of plants, especially seedlings and vegetables, thereby reducing their photosynthetic ability. Methods of crop pest control. Number one, we have the physical method. We have the cultural method, biological method, then the chemical method. Physical method. This involves the eradication of pests by physical means. This includes hand picking and crushing, setting of traps, shooting with gun, fencing of the farm, the use of scarce crew, and then the use of mist nets. Cultural control. This involves the use of farming practices to control pests crop rotation, planting resistant varieties, bush burning, early planting or early harvesting, weeding, close season practice. And the next one is biological control. This involves the use of natural enemies of pests to control them. These natural enemies also help in keeping pest population under control. Natural enemies eat of this pest, for example, ladybug or ladybee to feed on aphids, while cotton caution scale eat on mealybugs. Chemical control. This involves the use of chemicals to control pests. The chemicals that are used for controlling of pests are known as pesticides. 
they can further be classified into chemicals or controlling insects, which is known as the insect insecticide. Then we have chemicals for controlling rodents, known as rodenticides. Then chemicals for controlling birds, known as avicides. Effects or economic importance of insect pests in crop production. Insect pests destroy crops in the field through their biting, chewing, boring, sucking, and defoliation activities. Defoliation is the removal of plant leaves. They cause reduction in the viability of store produce. Site of injuries by insects may, may predispose crops to disease attack. They increase the cost of production during the course of controlling them. They render vegetables and fruits unattractive and unmarketable. Some are carriers of vectors of diseases. The profit of farmers are reduced. If the crops are unattractive or unmarketable, the farmer may not be able to attain to his desired profits at the end of harvest. They reduce the quality of produce either in the store or in the field. They generally reduce the yield of crops. Side effects of various preventive measures. The truth is that all the methods used or every method that may be used in controlling of insect prey may have side effects. Let's look at them one by one. Okay, let's start with the cultural method control. Now, the use of fire to kill harmful pests may result in destruction of other useful organisms. Resistant varieties may adapt to the environment, causing resistance to be short-lived. Fire may spread to other farms if not properly managed. Use of fire may cause loss of organic matter of soil and destruction of soil structure. Chemical method control. Some beneficial insect and soil organisms may be destroyed. Pests and diseases may develop resistance. Chemicals used may be toxic to man and crops. It may leave undesirable residual in the environment. Some chemicals washed out through water, soil erosion may cause pollution to large rivers. Then let's look at the biological control method. New organism introduced may start attacking crops. Predators expected to control others may rather feed on other beneficial insects. Introduction of new organisms may cause imbalance in ecosystem. Assessment. What are crop pests? Crop pests can basically be divided into how many groups? List and explain three classes of crop pests based on their mouth parts. List three examples for each of the following non-insect pests of crops. Number one, mammals. Number two, birds. If you're unable to answer this assessment, go over the video again and you'll find it very easy to answer everything.